Good morning, everybody. Sausage and cream cheese casserole happening this morning. I've already got the oven preheated to 350. Got the sausage going here. I'm going to go ahead and I got the cream cheese out. I'm going to go ahead and get out the crescent rolls. I have the dough sheets this time. So I'm using this kind of pan because it seems to cook a little faster in this pan. If I use the glass pan, it takes longer for the crescent rolls to get done. So we're going to use this one. And the other day, I accidentally opened the crescent dough sheet. I just grabbed out the cans because I was making crescent rolls. They should really make these a different color. Like, this shouldn't be red for the dough sheets. It should be like, I don't know, green or something. Because if you just look at the top, it looks like a can of crescent rolls. And I grabbed it out and opened it. And I was like, wait, this is a dough sheet. I hope it still does okay. Yeah, it's going to do fine. I put it in a freezer bag and just, you know, sealed it up really tight. I think it's still going to do fine. Okay, it's a little, you know, misshapen since it's been opened, but it's okay. <laughs> That's why we're putting it on the bottom. Same thing if you mess up a pie crust or something. Or like a chicken pot pie. Just put the one you messed up on the bottom. Nobody will ever know. I don't mind if I do drink out of a Merry Christmas mm -mm. cup. No, we don't mind. Christmas spirit all year long around here. All year. Okay, the sausage is done, so I'm putting it into this bowl so we can mix it with the cream cheese. And I'm just draining it as I'm getting it out of the pan here. Okay, y'all, the sausage and cream cheese casserole is almost done. I'm gonna make some scrambled eggs to go with it, but we're also gonna try this little eggy thing and make a little egg with him, see how it works. I got this from Walmart the other day. It's a little while later now. I went and got ready. Some of the kids are still asleep. Some of them are awake. And I need to tell y'all this before I forget. Y'all remember yesterday I was talking about those little Pillsbury sweet biscuits. These right here. And I was like, nobody likes them. Nobody likes them. I wasn't aware that Tyler had not tried them. And he tried them and he really likes them. I just wanted to let y'all know, you may like them. I came in here from getting ready and he was over there eating two packs of them. And I was like, you like those? He does. So anyway, we are actually still on summer break right now. We were supposed to start school Monday, but there was a delay in the shipment of the books. So we're using a Becca this year. I ordered the curriculum over a month ago from christianbook.com. That's where I place all of my homeschool orders most of the time from christianbook.com. So when you purchase the Abeka, I don't know what that was. <laughs> he dropped his fishing rod. Anyway, um, when you purchase the Abeka curriculum from an outsource place, like from christianbook.com, they give you a redemption code. So then once you purchase the curriculum there, they don't ship you the books. Abeka actually ships the books. So then you have to go to Abeka and put in your redemption code. Then once you put in the redemption code, they give you your start date, all of that, and they ship you the books. Well, when I went to put in the redemption codes, for some reason it doubled Aldra's second grade curriculum so it looked like the order was placed twice for that and it put a hold on the whole order so i ended up having to call them this was probably close to two weeks ago now i called them i was on the phone with them forever they kept transferring me to different people because the people i was talking to they couldn't figure out what was going on anyway the books were not going to ship until the 13th but thankfully because all of that craziness happened with my order they shipped them early and they're supposed to be here today so hopefully nothing goes wrong and they will be here today and then we're just going to start next week because I'll need a few days to, you know, look over the curriculum, make sure we have all the books, make sure I have all the kids' passwords and everything set up because they are doing a 
Becca Academy, they're enrolled in that, so they'll be logging on every day, you know, and watching their lessons online and also it'll take me a few days to get all that situated. So we're gonna start next Monday. So it was a nice surprise. We got an extra week of summer vacation. <laughs> all the younger kids are still asleep right now. Jacob and Tyler are awake upstairs. I'm gonna ask one of them to come and help me move this stove. I had a spill back there last night and I cleaned up what I could of it, but I didn't want to move the whole stove out, you know, that late in the evening. So I'm going to ask one of them to come and help me move this stove out. And we're going to clean behind that today because I don't want to leave that back there. And while we're doing that, I'm just going to get them to pull out this refrigerator. We'll clean behind that real quick. We'll do a little end of summer cleaning today. But first, before all that, coffee must happen. It looked like it was going to be a really pretty day earlier, but now it's looking like rain. So we'll just hang in here. We'll put a movie on. What do I want to do today? Caramel apple pie, pecan pie, coconut crumble, toasted hazelnut, salted caramel, or just regular donut shop. I'm just going to close my eyes and pick one. Regular donut shop it is. Okay, it is done. Clean behind the stove, clean behind the refrigerator. We cleaned off the top of the refrigerator and I cleaned the microwave while we were in this section. <laughs> and I rearranged some stuff over here and cleaned. I moved this and the home sign over here. My fruits are still over here on the table so we can go put them over here now. There we go. Sissy's putting some tomatoes down there. So yeah, it feels good to know that it's clean on the sides of the stove and behind the stove and under the stove, even though nobody can see it. If there's a spill back there, you know, it can irritate you. So just pull out that stove, clean it down. I think it took us about 45 minutes and we did the stove and the refrigerator. So you want a muffin? Okay. Momo. Muffin? Okay. He says Momo for muffin, I think. Yeah. Wow. finished eating got everything cleaned up I left this out because I wanted to tell y'all about it so we had the hamburger steaks and shrimp tonight and we used this boom boom sauce on the shrimp this stuff is so good y'all so it shows on here you know using it with breaded butterfly shrimp but Walmart has a hard time keeping the breaded butterfly shrimp in stock they didn't have any they didn't have it last week or this week so we just used regular shrimp to me it tastes like a little bit of a spicy tartar sauce it's not very spicy to me but maybe just a little bit it's it's kind of like maybe tartar sauce and cocktail sauce mixed together a little bit with maybe a little kick of spice i don't know <laughs> not very good at explaining things but it's good are you having a yogurt for dessert so you want to go where you want to go cow, bull. want to see the cows and bulls <laughs> 
Okay. Super cute. We gotta go change your shirt though because you have yogurt all over it. Mm -hmm. Wanna get cleaned up? Okay. Yeah, get clean. Let's go get clean. Where'd the fireflies go? Go, 